mission objective is simple. This zone needs to be locked down. Incoming hostile forces. Copy that. What's up, ladies and gents, and welcome back to some more Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. Where today, returning to XCOW's top picks, the engineer class, and as you can see, my favorite engineer, the Quarian, and Quarian male engineer. Very, very uh, distinct difference there between the two Quarians. Make sure uh, you guys know that. But uh, honestly, this this engineer cannot be beat in terms of the pure destruction that could be put out. I mean, my God, you want tech burst on top of tech burst? This is your class. Like, my God, it, it's, it's insanity. I mean, look at this. Tech burst. Tech burst, fire explosion. My God. Plus, you've got arc grenades, 10.10 10 and a quarter meters of absolute death and destruction. You fire off an acolyte, go in for the incinerate, bam, tech burst. Granted, it is a weak tech burst, but tech burst all the same. And then you throw an arc grenade, fire explosion. Everything shields is stripped if the acolyte didn't get them top of the AoE damage and then fire explosion. I mean, my god, the damage potential of this class is insanity. I mean, I don't know if it's as good as... Well, this is pretty good right here. I mean, well, I guess you guys did see I did get a, I did get a kill streak with it. So, not, not too shabby there. And plus, we are playing on Glacier, smallest map in the game. Throw a grenade in the middle of the map, probably gonna hit everything, so... Oh, just can't get that staggers. Oh, y'all lift. Oh, too bad. I'll just go ahead and fire explosion the rest of you to death. How about that? So pretty much the, the play style of this class consists of you fire out an acolyte shot. That is mo more than likely going to be able to uh, proc the disruptor ammo effect. And you follow it up with an incinerate. So you got a tech burst right there, and then you detonate the incinerate with an arc grenade, and more often than not, most things will die to that combo. Uh, some things might require a little more, a uh, little more effort, like dragoons, but you know, dragoons, dragoons will be dragoons. So <laughs> what can you do about that, right? But essentially, that's how it goes. You definitely want to get that fire explosion action going in. One of the few classes that can self-detonate a fire explosion with ease. A level 6 fire explosion at that. And since you're detonating your own fire explosions, I find that incendiary ammo as the uh, ammo power doesn't really work out too well. Um, but I, get, I mean, at the end of the day, you have art grenades, so there really is no wrong answer. I mean, you could use armor piercing on your acolyte for all I care. <laughs> Still going to do pretty well, I bet. Look at that. Art grenade for days all over. You've got tax scan for the bosses. Help the entire team out. I mean, what? you've got boss killing. You've got AoE. You've got tech burst, crowd control. You've got high base shields. Um, with only four points, you get 750, 900, which is more than enough for just about everything in this game. You've got to dodge. I mean, what the it's just a fantastic fucking class. I'm, I'm, really I'm honestly surprised I don't see more people playing this bad boy. Ridiculous. You know, people will say, I mean, so what's the point of playing the Quarian Engineer when you can just play the Infiltrator? Well, the Infiltrator cannot tech burst like the Engineer can. I mean, there's no competition. Don't don't sleep on fire explosions. They do a lot of damage to armor. I mean, look at that incinerate arc grenade combo. Took that Ravager down seven bars. I mean, insanity. Insanity. Plus, fire explosions are always badass. I mean, come on! I shouldn't have to explain this stuff. Hopefully, I don't have to. Hopefully, you people, you guys, are all ready believers. And plus, if you've got teammates with you that can detonate, you know, with overload, proximity mine, whatever, I mean, that's just more tech bursts you're going to be setting off. There's art grenades, everything in a 10 meter radius. That's 10 meters on all sides. That's not just 10 meter. Radius and diameter, two very different things. Just in case you didn't know. Just in case. It's okay if you didn't know. I won't hate you for it. But 10 meters, everything is primed for tech burst. Oh, okay. <laughs> so nasty. So nasty. Yeah, Banshees. Yeah, look at that. A couple of Acolyte shots. Two Acolyte shots, an Arc Grenade, Incinerate, and she was already down. Don't put that there. What are you doing? Tech burst. Look at that. Plus, you can get around the uh, demon barrier absorption technique the same way as the phantoms from the uh, Inferno grenade. 
uh, video. Just as long as you don't have that active bubble, active targeting bubble on, you're going to be okay. Uh, unfortunately, it does not work quite as simply, quite as easy as it does with the as it does with uh, cult with the collector Praetorians. The collector Praetorians are a little bit smarter than the average boss, unfortunately. But it's still, I mean, you can still work it if the ability, if the range on your ability is. Oh god. Oh god. Oh shit. Save me, Jeebus! the uh, greatest of corners to be standing in. Let's look at that five ways to survive too. Jeez! And we are just flying along. Hmm. Too good. Too damn good. Down the cheese! <laughs> so I've seen a couple of people asking how to do that. Um, I have explained this before, but in case you're uh, new to these parts, the way you do it is you activate it, and as soon as you activate it, you hop out. It's as simple as that. Um, you, you only have maybe about a half a second to actually do that, so you got to be sure that you're in prime position to uh, hop out of the hack circle as soon as it uh, pops up. But uh, on that on that same note, you don't actually need to um, be the one to activate the hack circle. A teammate could do it, and you can hop out when he activated activated it because not all. Not all hack circles are going to be as simple as that one where you just hit it and you hop out and it's al already in the uh, convenient spot for it. Not going to work like that. Oh god, he's around corners. Okay, well, I'm getting a little too focused on the kill whoring here. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, you can have teammates do it, and you can do it vice versa. You can activate it, and teammate can hop out of it, no problem. And still, oh no, we're not gonna get ten wave survive. Look what you've done. Oh, so this is where all the action was. Yes. So just as long as you can hop out of it, like a second and a half, a second right as it's activated. You will uh, be able to do it no problem, but not all hack circles are as easy as that one. So it might take a little creativity or a little reliance on teammates. So just in case you didn't know how to do it, there you go. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. And plus, plus, even if they survive the arc grenade, the incinerate arc grenade combo, you can incinerate them again for a level six tech burst. Insanity, just pure insanity. Wow. He Things health and our barriers got uh, shredded pretty fast. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Combat drone is very good for uh, getting the Banshee to do, do the Screamo attack for us. Power class is very nice. Very nice. So, I mean, the tech burst potential unmatched. That Marauder survives. Hit him. Hit him up with the <laughs> Incinerate level six tech burst. I mean, seriously, look, look, it's just crazy. The AOE damage, insanity. And plus, with this particular setup, I mean, you recharge faster than they can recover from the stagger. So it's crazy, insanity. Plus, art grenades can never go wrong. You've got ammo packs, grenade capacity. I mean. I'm, I'm on. The, I'd say this is probably my biggest surprise for the class that has not played, played more. I don't. I don't understand it. Oh god! Teleporting through walls, you cheap bitch. It does take a little while to set up. There we go. Come on. Prime position for her. Do the screamo stuff. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. Out playing banshees all day, every day. He keeps dying. To, he keeps dying to the swarm. That's funny. Enemy is regrouping. Ah, I love this class. Here they come. I, got it. I think I might go as far to say, as far as AOE damage goes, this class might be the best at it. But when it comes to bosses, it, the effect might be a little, a little diminished. Throw more grenades! Just because it don't have cloak don't mean it's not bad. Not good, rather. No! Don't get hit by that! Okay, 
where's everything hiding at? Look at this, Stagger, Stagger Town all day. And this is Reapers. They've got a lot of boss units. This Hurricane, oh, if it comes down to it, is also pretty, uh, pretty handy at um, at distributing the ammo powers there. She's still going, really? Incinerates all the things. Man, we are just flying along. I've actually got a good teammate, too. I guess that's why we're flying along. I thought this uh, was going a little bit faster than, than normal. Oh, God, and they spawned behind me. What did I get? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be up here. Not a very good spot. Damn it, switch. Oh, run! Banshees are scary! Oh god, and they're all down here too? Jeez! I can't get away! I can, however, clear a path! Alright, now we can go back. Oh, wait, no. No! The swarm! <laughs> it smells Corian blood! Oh, will not stop chasing me! Please tell me that's not a- Yep, that would be a Banshee behind me. I was hoping that wasn't the case. Shit is getting uh, a little clusterfuckish this time around, to say the least. Get out of my damn way, Swarmers. Oh, oh, this is a good one. No! <laughs> we killed it! Oh god, I made it angry! What else is still alive? They hog all the action to themselves! Oh, damn it, stupid engineer doesn't know how to cheese the Banshees like I do. That is annoying! That is annoying. Oh! And, and to top it all off, and to top it all off, I don't think any class can take advantage of the new power amplifier mod for SMGs and pistols better than this guy can do. The uh, clip capacity does not, uh, or the lack of clip capacity doesn't hurt him as much as it does like the Fury, for instance. Okay, I was Yes, I shouldn't complain, huh? Yes, all kill streaks. I don't know why he keeps spamming missiles. <laughs> He's spamming missiles in the wrong place. Alright, Captain Kill War. Come kill this brute instantly, huh? I'll do it myself! Oh, please do something about that brute. Please do something about that brute. Please pay attention. Oh, go for the juggernaut. Don't, it, yep, figures. I really hope she doesn't PBAOE scream. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Okay, yeah, I'm getting out of here. Uh, he might be scoring well, but as so far as his missile selection goes, it is not very smart. AoE destruction is on the way! Just stay there! Oh, damn. I, 
had a feeling that was gonna happen. Save me, Juggernaut! Thank you. Ellis is still. Oh god. That, that would be a triple Ravager kill. <laughs> he just keeps going! Uh, yeah, I think yeah, I think I want to use more thermal clip packs. I love our, I love this. I love fire explosions, especially when they're high level. And I love tech bursts. Good for all flavors of the world. Uh, I don't want to go out there. Let the infiltrator. Oh God, swarmers! No, no arc grenades for swarmers! Damn it! We need more arc grenades out here. It seems. Oh God, they spawn behind me. Come on, come on, do your thing. Fine, I'll just kill you. How about that? Ah, <laughs> no, they're gonna kill me! Come on, jump! We must flee the scene, there's too many. Man, she's super scary. No matter what flash you're playing. Oh, go for the juggernaut! Oh, that'll work, I guess. Plus, even without the arc grenades, the damage you can do with just the hurricane and tech bursting is pretty, pretty good as well. So even if you run out of thermal clip packs or you run out of arc grenades or not, or whatever it may be, you'll still be in pretty, pretty good shape. Plus, you got tax scan. Can never go wrong with tax scan. I don't understand how he keeps dying. Not too shabby at all. Not too shabby at all. AoE destruction just can't be matched. That is why you play the Corian Male Engineer. He missile launched it too hard. I couldn't even get the 50 tech kills. Usually I get that. Oh well. Oh well, but our tools of destruction here, four points in tactical scan, incinerate, pretty standard stuff, AoE, burn damage, armor damage, arc grenade, radius, dot damage, shield overload, 10.4 meters, good lord, damage, capacity, power damage, weapon damage, and four points in fitness. I mean, honestly, you could probably even get away with doing no points in fitness, but I like using a power amp, so I like the four points in fitness. So, that is my top pick for the Engineer class. Koi and Mail, Hot Grenades, Incinerates, Explosions! What more could you ask for? So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And, until next time, peace soup.